Hello! In this video, Kiara drives to Logan to visit friends and family, but also to pick up the truck from storage so that we can take the trailer to Alaska. Jordan's students continue training as they prepare for their CDL test and we're all a little nervous about it. We also start to prepare to leave St. George and we're excited but stressed. We are Me, You, and the Boo and welcome to a week in our lives. Places I've been, they don't feel like forever. But each step I'm taking, it seems like I'm finding myself. I finally made it. I'm so tired. We'll see you tomorrow. It is a pretty day in Cache Valley. There's still snow and it's a little chilly, but it is so nice to be home for a couple of days. Hello, I'm just here at my mom and dad's house. My mom's dog is attacking me. <laughs> and just enjoying being up here. This is actually the house I grew up in. So we're in this nice, lovely backyard. The weather's super nice up here, I'm surprised. They had snow like not very long ago, but it's super nice out here. I'm just enjoying the nice day, just relaxing, reading my book, and then I'm gonna go to a kind of like a little meeting later with my friend, so it should be nice. It's just nice to come up and visit home. This dog is really wanting my attention. <laughs> this dog's name is Naughty Dog. Got a lot of energy. Silly thing. Good morning. It is like 7.15 in the morning. I actually woke up about 4.45 and could not go back to sleep. Not that I wasn't like comfortable or anything. I think it's just because I was having anxiety about doing this drive today. It's not even a hard drive. It's just a long drive. <laughs> I'm just not in the mood. Um, but I was up anyway and the car wash opened early. <laughs> so I'm going to go into Walmart, grab a few things, go to the car wash, go to the storage unit and swap cars, uh, say goodbye to my parents and then head home so yeah short trip but yeah let's get going can't beat those cache valley sunrises and mountains oh home I just wanted to go for a little drive and just drive through Cache Valley. I get homesick, even though we I like love what we do. I still miss home. I mean, I, we, I grew up here. We both grew up here. I went to college here, you know, spent most of my life here. So it's kind of tough to leave when I'm only here for a day. So I'm just going to hang out for a minute, enjoy being here, and then head out.
Let's get the truck. Alright. Let's move the car and then we'll be on our way. Six dollars to fill up when I'm used to the car being like fifteen dollars. I love the truck, but that's not fun. So my mom probably for Easter got us some Idolisle chocolates. This is this place in Brigham City, Utah, and they're like these little nut rolls. They're so good. I'm so excited to eat these on the way home. Here, I'll try to show you what they look like. Yum! They've got like nougat in the mince in the middle. Mmm, so good. I won't eat all of them. <laughs> I could, but I'll save some for Jordan, for sure. All right. I know I've said this like 10,000 times, but now it's officially time to get on the road. Do I still have a bunch of my CDs from high school? Yes. Uh, both of our cars have CD players, and I just have all my CDs. And at the thrift store, I always buy some. And this doesn't have like a Bluetooth or anything, so I'll just listen to CDs on the way. As you can see, I'm at a place called Tire Busters in Payson, Utah. Jordan's best friend that he's had for like his whole life owns this, these businesses. And so we need new tires on the truck. And so it was kind of convenient. I'm driving right through. So I'm gonna stop here, get new tires. And yeah, who knows how long it'll be. Hopefully not too long. Okay, making a good time though. So shouldn't be too much longer and I'll be down there. It was kind of a last minute thing and we love to support local businesses. Uh, again, this is Jordan's friend that started this business on his own. So thank you, Tire Busters. Great service. Everything is great. So now, yeah. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> Back on the road. Where'd you get your lamb chop? Are you happy? Yay! <laughs> Thanks, Grandma! <laughs> made it home a couple of hours ago, but I was so hungry <laughs> to eat. And then we've just been watching TV. <laughs> he and I got a new toy from Grandma. He's very excited. He's very excited. But anyway, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> nice to be back with my doggy. My little work buddy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Cute. 
Mikey and I loves the truck. He hates the car, but he loves the truck. How's it feel having the truck back? It does feel good. It is nice. I love my car, but we do love the truck. Jordan forgot his phone, so we have to go to the coach and get his phone. Look at him put that little foot up on <laughs> How oh, can I? It is like 7.15 at night, and I am out in short sleeves and shorts, and oh, this is amazing. I love it. Just going on a daily run, getting that in before we settle in for the night. I actually think those are bats. Huh. That's crazy. They are definitely bats. That's crazy. I haven't seen any. They must just be coming out because it's warmer. Neat. So I went to visit my mom, obviously, and my dad. And my mom pulled out a bunch of her old singles. Summer of 1982. Some of these are from the 70s and the 80s. It's pretty cool. Kenny okay, wants his toys. Just a second. Is my shirt on your toys? Is that why you're mad? Oh, there's your lamb chop. Is that what you wanted? There it is. <laughs> Grandma gave him a new toy. <laughs> anyway, it's pretty neat that my mom kept these all these years. This is a uh, Kenny Rogers. <laughs> so see, I've got all these. So fun. I mean, this one is Cindy Lauper. Time after time, there's Journey. There's this is this is amazing. It's so much fun. Jordan's having fun too. <laughs> We're in here listening to all these. It's constantly a question. You'll know this song. <laughs> he never does. <laughs> Good morning. We got caught up in stuff yesterday. It's kind of gotten a little crazy this week. All of the drivers are testing on Saturday. And so Jordan's a little stressed out about that. He just worries that he didn't do enough for them to make sure that they pass. But he's he does more than he thinks he does. And he's just hard on himself. So he hasn't really felt like filming anything because <clears throat> he's kind of stressed out about everything. Um, Kenai's doing good. There's a Kenai. Um, yeah, and the other thing is like, it's yesterday, it was exactly three weeks until we leave here to go north. Not technically, technically to Alaska, but north from here. So we are leaving the RV down here and we're taking the trailer. So that means we need to move out of here faster than I was realizing. So kind of stressed out about that. Yeah, that's what's been going on. And the weather is just amazing. It's been in the 70s, but honestly, we haven't really been able to enjoy it because we're stuck working. <laughs> we're hoping to get to Zion next week. Uh, so yeah, we'll be able to do something fun. All right, yeah, let's get to the day. <laughs> You're so cute. I just wanted to show Kida, honestly, because he's so cute. Uh, we'll get to our day in just a little bit. The YouTube channel. <laughs> Madeline is doing the slalom really well. We just started. just finished our CPR certification and we're passing Cracker Barrel on the way home so we thought let's go get some cone cake. <laughs>
so hard to find good. <laughs> what did I say? Find that, find, hard to find good help now. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna go to ice cream. I just left my first student to go test. It gives me so much anxiety for them. I don't ever want to have to do that again. And I just think it's so nervous. There's so much writing on the line. So oh, here's to hoping that they all pass. If they don't, it's all right. No big deal. Not the end of the world, but I can feel their their nervous their nerves in my soul. So here's to hoping. Good morning. So it's Saturday. Me and Keena are just kind of hanging out. Uh, Jordan is gone. He left at about 6.45 this morning. The drivers are testing today. So he needed to go and get the coach ready for the tests and he just wanted to be there for the drivers. So kind of a stressful day for Jordan. He's just worried about his students. So yeah, that's where he is. Uh, he'll be gone most of the day, so me and Keena are going to hang out here. The plan is we need to clean. I know, I feel like I'm always cleaning or organizing, but we are getting ready to move stuff into the trailer. And so, and I don't want to store this thing and not have it be clean. So uh, we're going to deep clean and do some of that today. I was, uh, my brain is like only focused on getting into that trailer, so I'm kind of stressed out. Anyway, yeah, that's going to be our day today. Yeah, we're just, both of us are just kind of stressed out about the whole moving into the trailer and getting up to Alaska. It's coming so quickly. It's, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to just stop talking. I'm rambling on. That will be our Saturday today. So hopefully Jordan films a little bit today and then I'll show a little bit of me cleaning and yeah. That's the morning so far. So I said I was going to clean. This is what we're working with. Laundry, stuff everywhere. It just looks worse than it is. Mostly what I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna deep clean and then I'm gonna to try to kind of sort out what we're moving into the trailer versus what we're not. Fortunately, we're not gonna be bringing like our, if I could do it backwards, our dishwasher or our washing machine, which that will be an adjustment. So we're kind of nervous about that. Uh, that's what I'll be doing. I don't know if I'm gonna show a lot of it because I feel like I put in a lot of our videos, me cleaning like a time lapse. So I don't know if I'm going to do that. Maybe I'll just show like the before and after <laughs> instead. Anyway, that's what I'm about to get to. And Kenai is wondering why we can't just be in bed all day. Huh, bud? Yeah, he just likes to look out the window. Hi, huh, Kenai. Kenai. Hey, sweetie. All right. So here is the before. Laundry has to be here because we've got a bunch of stuff for the trailer up there. So I'm just going to do a before. And then I'll do it after. Kenai, it's a disaster in here. What happened? Well, the first student passed. Passed. And so the second one now is on the road. It's a good sign. If they get on the road, as long as everything goes normal, they generally pass. Which sometimes they don't, but that's a good sign. And then the third one will be after that. And my test anxiety for other people will be over for the day and if they don't pass it's not the end of the world we'll just fix it you know, get it right the next time so here we go okay it looks a lot better ignore the dishes i haven't done those yet it doesn't really look like i did that much but i did a lot hey buddy not. I just finished the training session. All three of the people of my trainees today passed. So it's very exciting. It's always a fun day for them and it brings me a lot of joy. So. I'm glad that, that they did that. They worked hard and they've done a good job. So I'm glad that they passed and gonna eventually move on to their locations. I probably won't see them nearly as much since they're 
working farther away from me and it is what it is but it's nice to spend time with them and train them and help them pass. Thank you.